All right, what is up? Welcome to today's show and tell. Uh, it's my car detailing kit. Just got a couple items in here. It's incredibly heavy, so I've set it up here next to me, and I'm going to show you all my favorite stuff from my car detailing kit. Um, first of all, it's just a Husky bag I got at the, uh, I think at the car parts store or at Lowe's or something like that. But um, basically, it's just a, a toolbox that I have all my stuff in. So first up, this is in no particular order. This is the uh, tire um, like nook cleaner, so spray it in there for wheels. Then I've got interior brushes for brushing out, um, you know, vents, air covers, things like that. So definitely important. Also got this funky thing. Look at this. This is for experimental dental work, uh, but also for cleaning out vents. That's what that is for. It's for hard to get nooks that need cleaning out. In here, in the center pocket, I've got some. 1500 and 2000 grit sandpaper for doing uh, getting out scratches and doing buffing and polishing and things like that. So I always keep a wad of 1500 or uh, 2000 grit sandpaper in there. Um, always using that. A, um, you know, a dust mask because that can occasionally be needed if you've seen any of my other videos. Um, also over here, I have this. Hold on a second. Um, got some Prismacolor or um, Dupacolor, two-in-one, touch-up paint. Not sure what car that even goes with, but uh, it's pretty important. I've also got, uh, I've got this, I haven't tried it yet. This is the uh, Fix-It Pro Clear Coat Applicator. So this is a uh, touch-up pen tool designed for um, clear coat application. So I don't do as much um, scratch removal stuff as I used to, but I've got that on board. A pen, always have a pen on board. Over on this side, let's see what we have here, boys and girls. Oh, look. It's my good friend's Bondo. Oh, this Bondo has seen better days. This is a uh, glazing and spot putty. I just got some on the table. I've got some hardener and I've got some um, some more glazing and spot putty. I'm just gonna put these down over here. Yuck. Um, apparently I used to do a lot more um, glazing and uh, Bondo body repair scratch removal work than I do now. But I do have this uh, Outdoor Breeze freshener. Let's just have a quick scent of this. Mmm, delicious. Uh, ah, it burns. Uh, I always like to do a splash of that at the end. Um, we're just going through the exterior pockets. I have a X-Acto blade. Um, I also have a bunch of squeegees. So these are Bondo squeegee, squeegees for body work. Um, these are uh, tint squeegees for applying tint. Yes, I can do that. No, I don't like doing that, but I have before. So these are pretty handy tools. I also have a razor blade for getting off pinstriping, goo, gum, tar, um, freeze-dried burritos, chewing gum, and other forms of waste that I find on carpet. So, gotta have one of those. All right, inside, first of all, got some nice um, rags. I have a uh, applicator and a um, uh, like a nice microfiber cloth. I've got some Armor All products that you may recognize. This is Ultra Shine Protectant. It's like the shiniest of all shiny things that you can get. I also have one for leather care, specifically for leather. So um, if you use this on leather, it will be shiny, but you will slide off of it and fly out the sunroof. Um, this gives the leather a nice sheen and protected care without being too slippery. So if you're a first time detailer, you may want to bear that in mind. I've got Formula 2001 Super Protectant. I think I found that somewhere. Just keep it on board. I have a uh, bug and tar remover, which I don't normally do because usually I'm in a rush. But um, if I have a really um, car that's got a really bunch of gunk on on the front spray this on let it sit for a little bit then wash it off and uh, It gets that hard to get gunk off the front bumper. That's really stuck on there Also in my bag of tricks a wad of paper towels. You never know when you're gonna need that Rain-X um, You know, you're a grown-up when you buy Rain-X and you're like wow look I'm driving and the water's just beating off the front window incredible I've also got ah Polishing compounds, super important, especially to go with that 1500 grit, 2000 grit sandpaper, getting off scratches and fine swirl marks, scratch marks, things like that. Turtle wax polishing compound, it's a go-to. This is my favorite product on the planet right now. It is um, Arbor All's Outlast Tire Glaze. It is the shiniest, best tire protectant, tire shine out there on the planet. It looks shinier than anything you've ever seen, and it stays shiny for many, 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 many washes and rains. Um, I'm gonna have a special video just for this because it's so awesome and it comes in this box which reminds you that yes you just bought $12 worth of tire shine but look it came in this box it is awesome. 
talk about that in a future video. Next up, a uh, quick detailer. Oh, my quick detailer has a hole in it. I guess I should put that over here in my leaking products um, division, but uh, the quick detailer is after you've washed and waxed and um, you just wanna kinda keep it clean and wipe it down briefly without having to rewash it. I have a um, really gross tire shine applicator um, that I use after I put on my Outlast. I use invisible glass because um, Windex did not really work for me. And once you use this, you'll never use Windex again. So I got one of those. I also have invisible glass wipes. Ooh, same thing, only uh, makes you feel like you're about to change someone's diapers. But ho ho, you're changing someone's dreams because you're cleaning their windows. Also, I have chrome polish. If you have chrome, I used to have a uh, 73 Chrysler Newport. Use this chrome polish all the time. So definitely want some of that. I've got original Armor All Protected Wipes also in the um, diaper applicator little compartment. I don't know why I keep this um, window film applicator on here for tint because I try to avoid doing tint uh, at, at all possible, but I still have this on board. I don't know why, but it uh, makes me feel important. I have old school foaming tire foam if I'm doing not my own car and the other person doesn't really care about tire shine. I'll use this stuff because it's a lot cheaper. I also have, I'm going to show you a couple different wax polyps polishes, things like that, that I use. So um, this one smells delicious, um, but don't eat it, even if you want to. Uh, this is clay bar, right? So on all of the car detailing things, this is just stuff you can buy at the car parts store. This is nothing um, too, too magical or expensive, but the clay bar is sort of, if you haven't done anything, you're really gonna spend a whole day on a car, use the clay bar. This isn't a real clay bar, this is just clay bar in a bottle. But a real clay bar will go back and forth over the surface and pull out those hard contaminants. Um, that's kind of your first step. Um, polish is really uh, meant to bring out the shine. It's not necessarily a protectant, but it's to bring out that shininess. And the carnauba wax or that hard shell is what you'll use at the very end. It's your last step. So um, I like to use Meguiar's products for all of them. They have a nice three-step process, but for whatever reason, I only have these here with me today. Blue Magic Carpet and Stain Remover does not smell good. You should not breathe it, sniff it, eat it, or drink it, but it does get red Kool-Aid out of carpet. So this stuff is amazing, and uh, it's clear. It's got a little shooter on it, but um, it smells really bad, just so you know. I've also got, because I really like um, tire shine, I've got Black Magic Tire Wet. Um, this has a lot left in it, so that's going to last me a while. Hold on to that. Good old-fashioned Zip Wax car wash wash um this one's from walmart from like a decade ago but you know nothing too magical about the car wash part, car wash part of it um i've got carpet and upholstery cleaner this is pretty important i have a brush that i use with it as well for carpets and things like that i've got multi-purpose auto cleaner which is a normal shiny armor all it's more so just to clean stuff like plastics and things like that I also have um, Instant Show Car Mother's California Gold Showtime. This is after you've done all of your day's worth of work and you take it somewhere and at the end of the day you wipe it down. Got that too. Here's some more of that sandpaper. Got a yellow glove. I also have um, this deliciously smelling ice by Turtle Wax Synthetic Polish. And I have this. This is the, um, the California Dry Blade. This is the best squeegee in the world. It has a uh, little I-beam cross-section there. This squeegee will work better than any squeegee on the planet. Um, this is the best thing you can ever own, so get that. And, oh look, more stuff. Turtle Wax Headlight Lens Restore. Got that, it works. Goof off, one time I had to pick um, old, uh, moldy, crusty adhesive window tin out of someone's back window. Used a lot of this, felt really good. Steel wool, you just might need that. And uh, you know what? I think that's about it. Oh, some more stuff. Here's a scratch remover called GS27. Do you remember GS27? Uh, really old infomercial, it's amazing. So I have this as well. I think that's it, everybody. That's what's inside my um, car detailing kit. Not included in here was my wash bucket and my sponge, but there's nothing magical about these. I have a whole nother bag just full of rags and um, shop rags, um, chamois, wax applicators, microfiber cloths, things like that. Lots of paper towels, a lot of elbow grease. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I do have a California duster, which I forgot to bring out. California duster is a big, um, you know, like rag looking thing uh, with little fringes on it and it has the best slogan in the world. The dirtier it gets, the better it works. What? But it's true. California um, duster. It's the best. All right. That's all for today's show and tell. This is my car detailing kit. Um, enjoy. <laughs>